A business restructuring specialist who was prosecuted in the wake of the sale of ranges has lost a bid to secure damages from police without evidence being heard. Consultant David Greer, 57, launched a £2 million claim against the Chief Constable of Police Scotland after he was arrested in 2014 following a change in control at Ibrox two years earlier when Craig White bought out Sir David Murray for pounds one. Mr Greer, of London, was charged but later cleared of any wrongdoing following an abortive prosecution. The former administrators at Rangers, David Whitehouse, and Paul Clark, of Duff and Phelps, are also pursuing separate cases against the police, but are also suing the Lord Advocate. In Mr. Greer's case his lawyers sought summary decree against the Chief Constable, which if they had succeeded would have left only the amount of damages to be paid to him to be settled. But a judge at the Court of Session in Edinburgh has rejected the move and ruled that there were issues that required to be determined after a full hearing. Lord Bannatyne said, I am of the view that I cannot conclude that the defender's defence is bound to fail. I consider that there are issues to try and respect of material issues. The judge said, I hold that the defender is not bound to fail at proof on his defence regarding malice. Lord Bannatyne said, there is an issue to try in respect to whether the police were acting under the direction and control of the Crown at all relevant points and therefore whether there can be any question of the police procuring the prosecution. The judge said it could not be said at this stage that Mr Greer was bound to succeed after a hearing in showing that the police did procure the prosecution that took place. Mr Greer maintains that he was subjected to unlawful and malicious conduct by the force following his detention, arrest and subsequent prosecution after the club was taken over by Craig White and subsequently went into administration. For more on this story, visit the news article link.